All right, guys, welcome back. 23 March 2022. Lots of interesting, weird things going on. Well, not weird, but it's just a sign of the times. I am mining Ethereum on ethermine.org, and I have a threshold of 0.2, as you can see. And I got my payout. Once I hit the threshold, the payout went right through. The uh, gas fees are low. I have my uh, gas threshold, my GUI threshold set to 60. The thing went right through, went right to my wallet. No, no, uh, no BS, no nothing, no lag time, no waiting months and months to get my payout. This is impressive. This is the second time this month this has happened. So gas fees are definitely a lot lower over the past month of March. I mean, it's just, it's, it's kind of a good thing to see. Uh, we can go check what they're at now by going to Etherscan. And these are typically low. I mean, January, February, December, my God, you've seen 300 GUI uh, gas fees. And uh, from November through December, I had to wait like six weeks to get a payout because I, I was stubborn. I don't want to pay fees. So I had my gas fee at 40 and 50 and it finally went through. Uh, this is amazing because I had it set at 60 today because I just want to get my payout, get it off Ethermine as fast as possible into a wallet where I can start getting interest on that Ethereum. Because as we look, look at that, look at that, it just dropped to 59, guys. This is pretty in interesting what is happening uh, with the with the uh, gas fee on the Ethermine, Ethermine, Ethereum. So uh, pretty interesting because look right now, we got crypto at 2,900. And uh, the markets are spooked today, the equities market. And we can go look at that. How do I do that? Hold on. Let's go to the stock page. And I noticed Tesla was up actually 50, 60 bucks. And now it's down nine. I said, what just happened? What did old Biden do? Oh, my God. But anyway, we go look at the news. And we see that the Dow, the Dow falls 300 points as more Fed officials call for half point rate hikes this year. Oil oil prices push higher. There's always a way to make money in crypto and, and um, equities. And uh, hey, gas prices are going up. Look at Exxon. Very few in this uh, equities of my watch list have a green in them. So what does Exxon? And beauty of Exxon, I've held this thing forever. It's a dividend reinvesting stock. I get paid dividends every quarter and the yield is 4.3% right now. I've owned this thing. I can't remember when. I don't even think I can sell it now because I don't even remember my cost base. It's, a, it's been that long ago. Uh, yeah, look at this puppy. Man, I don't know. Not financial advice, but maybe look at buying some of these Exxon, uh, these Exxons, these oil stocks. And there's also uh, Southern is an energy company. And uh, what do we got going on with uh, Bitcoin? Dad, that's down. That's down. Ethereum's down under 3,000. Eh. All right. Uh, we got Pirate Chain, which is a, pri a privacy coin. That has actually been moving up the past week. Doge is kind of fun to watch. Meme coin. This one is amazing. Look at this little puppy moving. This is R. It's kind of, I don't think it's a meme coin per se. It is a privacy coin. Go check it out. A-R-R-R. -R -R. And uh, I think at one time it was up to 12 bucks a share, a share, a coin. Let's go back. Let's go back uh, five years. Look at that. It was up to, what is it, eight? Eight bucks. So it was up to eight bucks in 2021, middle, early spring 2021 last year that doesn't make sense let's go back to two years i mean sorry let's just zoom in yeah march of a year ago wow and now it's inching back up anyway i digress um yeah so gas fees are down which is good what is the mining profitability that is hovering it's good it was uh let's go to three months it was at oh three cents like right here uh for mining profitability on ethereum mining and now we are going up that's a good trend so we're seeing a lot of things happening in March. Ah, crazy times. We're seeing GPU prices coming down. We're seeing availability of GPUs going up. Uh, we're seeing Ethereum talking about maybe pushing off the POS. Not sure yet what's going on with that. I just kind of am on the periphery listening what's happening. And with anything software related, it is not as easy as it sounds. Once things are established, and working, it's hard to move a big moving ship like that to go to POS. It's not that easy. So they have these dates set. We'll see what happens. And then all, all hell will probably break loose. 
because the Ethereum support will not be there anymore from the miners. And that hash rate that Ethereum is going to give up, who knows who's going to get it? How it's going to be consumed by other coins? Nobody knows. It's exciting Wild West times, guys. But you can still invest and have fun with crypto. Oh, we got an ad. There's a Brave ad. That's how I make crypto right there. I click on a Brave ad from the Brave browser. It pops an ad up and I get a couple pennies for looking at an ad. It's a great model. And a, a Brave uses BAT, B-A-T, Basic Attention Token. And uh, that is actually making me money. And I'm making interest off it on Voyager. So, yeah, that's another sidebar. Lots of little nuggets of information I drop throughout these videos. <clears throat> Digest them and uh, do your own research, right? Right. So that's where we're at. I just wanted to say the payouts are pretty impressive. They're going through quick. The gas fees are low. Man, the thing went right to my wallet. I went, what? What, what happened? The last thing I looked at was 1.9. So I got my 0.2. They took out my fee. And then look at that. It was a 38. Holy cow. Somebody snapshot this. 38 Gway fee? Are you joking me? What is happening, guys? What is going on? So there you go. If you need to move stuff, move it now. If you want to get your stuff off a, uh, a wallet and move it or an exchange or something, and you want to move some uh, uh, Ethereum or ERC20 tokens, anything on the Ethereum network, do it now. Do it today. Check these GUI fees because you won't have to pay much in fees. Man, I'm tempted to get it all into a hard wallet right now. Tempted. I have to think about it. Let's see what the next update is in five seconds. It's dropping. This is impressive, guys. We're witnessing history. I mean, again, I'm telling you, all I've seen before is the high 200s, 300 gas fees, and this is pretty cool. I love it. All right, let's see where I'm at in this video here. I lost my page. Uh, six minutes in. So there you go with that. Ethereum is 0.04 mining profitability. Yeah, if you can get GPU cards, my advice is wait. Just keep waiting until April. Wait to see what's going on because um, the prices are going down. They're trending down. I did another video on checking out StockX. You can look at their trends. You can actually go NVIDIA and AMD and look at all the GPUs, pick the ones you like, and then see the trending. Everything is trending down. Almost to MSRP. We're still a couple hundred bucks over MSRP, but it looks like the trend is GPU prices. NVIDIA's are dropping on average 200 bucks per month. And I think it's speeding up a little bit because the uh, stagnation of crypto right now, the dropping of Bitcoin, uh, people are just not sure. And Ethereum going to POS, people are just not sure whether they should be buying lots of GPUs for mining. I know I am not. I, I have eyeballed some. I have some on a wish list like the, the older 1660 Supers or 6600 XTs. More lower cards that are cheaper and uh, are more efficient. And don't burn that much power. I'd love to get a 3090 net, but that's a lot of money to drop. And the 3090 Ti is supposed to be like 4K plus. Forget that. I'll never get that money back. Right now, I'm trying to recoup my ROI on all the equipment I have purchased. Again, not just GPUs. You got to buy motherboards. You got to buy power supplies. You got to buy memory, CPUs. Uh, what do you call this? In grow tent with fans. Uh, what else do you have to buy? Cables, uh, risers. It's, the, the crap adds up. And that's why I'm kind of now looking at those um, Octominer server boards that are all riserless motherboards with the built-in CPUs on them. They're only a couple hundred bucks, and you can slap like eight GPUs on them without worrying about risers and crap, and you're good to go. Let it rip, and uh, you don't have to worry about rigs or anything, just a platform or a shelf to put these uh, motherboards on. I have not done it yet because I don't like spending money now. I'm trying to re recoup my ROI, get my money back on all the... You know, all the cards I have purchased. So that is where we are at. All right, there's a little nine minute video for you. Uh, just saying GUI fees are lower. Payouts are going through really quick on Ethereum, on ethermine.org. And uh, I am mainly focused my 1.1 giga hash on Ethermine right now. And that's, I just want to keep making what I can make. If I can make my thousand bucks a month, I will be happy. And that'll help uh, get to my ROA, ROA faster, which is still a long way off. Look at that, 28 GUI fee. All right, guys, I'm looking at it. We have a 26, 26, 27 high wave fee. This is looking really awesome, man. And move your, move your Ethereum now if you have to, if you need to. You are not going to pay much in at anything in fees, and you'll get it to where you want. Put it in your hard wallet. Lock that hard wallet in a safe, and uh, just hold. Hold. Not financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. 
It works for me because when I did sell, I'm the idiot. I sold basic attention token at 27 cents and went to a buck 20, not two weeks later. And I even sold my Ethereum when it hit 1300 because I thought, oh, this, this ship has sailed. It's over. Boy, I'm an idiot. Yeah, and then the thing drops, uh, jumps to 4000 per coin. Unbelievable. Kicking myself. So I learned if I don't need the money, if I don't need the money to feed myself and my kids and buy them shoes, I'm going to hold it in the crypto. Because the fiat dollar is a joke right now. I'm um, getting no money on my uh, money markets or anything. They're actually, I'm losing money with, an, with the 30% inflation that's out there right now. Realistically, I think it's probably 23%. Because how do you know? Well, Congress just gave themselves a 23% pay increase. Why is that? Well, that probably mirrors the actual reality in the inflation. Uh, what they report on the news, the legacy media, is uh, all lies, all BS, just to, uh, you know, opium for the masses, just to keep you all dumb and stupid. Uh, yeah, it's bad out there, guys. It is bad. And hopefully crypto is where it's at. I'm not a big gold silver guy. Why? I had it before in the past. And I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to do with this? You know, even if you have the coins and metal, what am I going to do? with? Who's actually going to take a bar of silver? Are they going to shave off a couple pieces and um, pay for my food? No, I don't get it. I think I think other stuff is more valuable. I don't know. But if we get hit with a cyber attack or something, it's all gone anyway. It's all bad news. You just don't know. But right now, all we can do is what's happening today and maybe plan for the future a little bit. And we got the low gas fees, move stuff, put it in your wallet, protect it. Uh, and go forth, do great things. All right, that's all I got. I'm out. Take care. Yeah, let me know what you guys are doing. You're buying crypto. What are we doing? Are we still mining? Are we interested in mining? Are we just buying the stuff through exchanges and uh, investing in it, which might be a sweeter deal right now? Unless you have a hobby instinct to go mine, uh, you may be better off just buying the stuff, you know, a thousand bucks of Bitcoin and just parking it in a hard wallet and forgetting about it versus dropping 10,000 bucks on a like a six GPU rig and uh, trying to recoup your cost in uh, 16, 16, uh, 12 to 16 months, right? I don't know. That's just a lot of thought process. You got to all sit down, get a, get a piece of paper out, start typing, type and start writing out the pros and cons. And uh, yeah, can you, can you stomach the ups and downs? And can you wait to get your ROI? If at all, you get your ROI. Anyway, that's all I got. Ramble on, ramble, ramble. And uh, Quay fees are down. That's the big news. And payouts are going through uh, from the ether mine pools. The uh, mining pools are going through quick. And that's a great that's a great sign for things right now. Interesting times. All right, go forth, do great things. I'll talk to you all later. I'm out.